Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here. Welcome back to another episode of Mushroom 11. A weird little physics-y puzzle game where we destroy a mass of mysterious... something in order to try and traverse a destroyed world. We don't know what's happened here yet, but we may find out as we go further. All we know so far is that there are plants which create lava and other mysterious horrors. Evidently, we have to sneak our way underneath this uh, boulder here, but let's see if we can't do anything interesting by going over the top first. If we push our way up into this tunnel, we may be able to drop down on it from above, and that could be pretty fun. We're gonna have to try and get the spider. Don't do it, it says on the sign there. A big stop sign telling you not to go over the edge, but... We're gonna do it, I can tell you that for sure. Let's see if we can sneak around and get that spider. So one of our challenges in this game is trying to consume the biological matter that fills this world already. And uh, we do that by just touching it with our enormous green form. Now the trick is, if we destroy too much of ourselves, then we lose our connection with our body, we lose our anchor, and then we fall. So we want to try and touch all the things without breaking and plummeting to our doom. Now we should have enough room to do this here, which will give us a little bit more reach around the corner. And get this stinking spider! We're so close! Come on now. Work with me here. Spider, work with me. There we go. And now it's time to plummet off the edge. Down we go. Thump! Perfect. Now we can make our way across, and into the space it was blocking. Ooh, what is that? That looks unpleasant. Let's touch it and see what it does. Oh, it's like acid. Does it spread? Because the lava didn't spread. Lava just mostly killed where it touched. It spread a little bit, but not really. Whereas this looks like it takes a different approach. I have a feeling this spreads to the rest of us once we touch it. What happened here to fill this world with so much horrible toxins and other nasty nastiness? Because this purple stuff does not look like a healthy thing. It's not like it's radiation or anything, it's just horrible horribleness. Gotta get ourselves a good foothold on that side, otherwise when I try to do this, it's not gonna work. There we go. Oh, look at that, too. There's another children's drawing of four people, but three of them have been X'd out. Now we got some bars here, which I have a feeling are like motion trackers? Yeah, they are. We have to touch all of them to open the door. Hmm. There we go. Now does it stay open? It appears to. All kinds of new mechanics are being introduced here, okay. Giant monsters. We saw that giant monster before, I think. Or at least something with similar colors to it in the poster for the Immortal Love movie. Here we have a purple spider, which I have a feeling has the same destructive tendencies as the other purple matter does. It looks like it does, gotta cut out the badness. Oh, okay. So I was right, the purple does spread. What does that say? Warning, monster eats children? <laughs> That's how I'm reading this. Is that a bug in the thing we can eat? No. I'm noticing spider webs, and the spider enemies nearby as well are another similar factor. There might be some spider boss up ahead soon. This looks like it's gonna bounce us, but I don't know if it will. Nah, no, it looks like it's just a stepping stool. We can use it to reach down, though. Get that bug, come on. Come on. Get back here, bug, you're so close. Just get got. <laughs> there we go, oh boy. There we go. Now we gotta climb up here without destroying what we're using to climb from. There we go. Some shenanigans happening here, but I think we got it now. There we go. Over the top. 
It's like a hangman's noose there. Things are getting grim here, guys. Things are getting grim. Destroyed bicycle, more human skulls around the place. Okay. It's interesting to know, I don't know what those are supposed to be. They're clearly important here because they're keeping us alive, but I don't know what they are in the context of the world or of our mushroom body. Are they some kind of cleansing thing? Like, are they terraforming the planet to make it habitable again? Or, like, what's the story here? I don't know yet. No, 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 no. And, of course, since we left a large blob over here, we reanimated the wrong side. It's the curse of trying to recover from a problem too late. There we go. Made it through. This is a really cool game. You guys should definitely check it out if it interests you, because it is very unusual. We gotta move through these orbs now, I bet you. Yeah, push our way through here. To keep maneuvering forwards. It's interesting, alright. I don't quite know... Hmm. What our best course of action is, but it's definitely interesting. Because when we, like, circle them, yeah, we can. We can anchor ourselves on these things and then try and go up higher, but how are we going to get up high enough to get that thing without falling into the, the pits below? We can't grow up that far, that fast. That's about as high as I can reach. Without spinning or having other problems. What if we just make it really thin here, really careful? Can I get any closer? I can get a little bit closer. I don't know if it's close enough, though. I really shape this thing just right to get up there. <laughs> trying so hard here, folks. I'm trying so hard. What if we like slice out some of that? and make it even more knife-shaped. We've clearly got very... Eh, there we go! Very little room to maneuver, but it is possible, turns out. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, that was a close call. Because <laughs> that would probably have been death there if we fell into that mush. How are we going to get up on top, though, without touching the horrible disease soil? Mmm, I don't know. Not that way, that's for sure. We gotta get up here, but we can't go any lower. We're gonna have to go back to the right and then kind of circle around. I get a feeling that's what we're gonna have to do here. There we go, get up on top. From here, we can push out that way. Like so. There we go. Now we're doing better. Now we're doing better. We're still not huge, but we're not dead yet either, which is the important thing. Some surprisingly challenging platforming in this game, turns out. Surprisingly challenging platforming. Which you wouldn't expect, necessarily, for a game about being a giant mushroom. I wonder if we'll meet the other mushrooms, because we're Mushroom 11. This is a hugely long section, too. If we fall here, it's going to really suck. It's going to put us back a long way. <laughs> oh, that could have gone worse. Alright. That could have gone much worse. But we're almost across, maybe to safety, who knows? No promises about safety anywhere in this game. Right, we, we might have made it. We just have to cross the last bit of gap here without falling to our horrible deaths. There we go, we got across. Oh boy. That was a struggle and a half. Let's try and get up here and get those two mushrooms, and then we can move down into the mysterious dark tunnel. 
What if that makes us a cannibal? Eating mushrooms. What does that say? The bodies we bury atone for the ones we conceive. Ooh. Lovely. There's two more bits of matter up here, though, so we made a good choice in coming this way. And we got him nice and quick, so back down we go. The bodies we bury atone for the ones we conceive. What happened in this world? Everything is very dead. And they do have antimatter spiders, so... I guess that's only fair, but... Seriously, though, what happened here? Gotcha. Looks like we have another security door. Whoops. No, 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 no. We gotta be up in that system at the top there, otherwise we're just gonna fall down. Probably want to have as few contact points as possible, though. So we can have as much of our mushroomy body touching those things as possible. Some real fine-tuning that has to go on here, because it's hard to control exactly where the mushroom goes, or grows. I want to push it to that one side, but we can't make it go there. All we can do is set the circumstances up to hopefully think it, make it think that's where we want it to go. There we go! Alright, job done. Let's scoot along the top here and get out. There's that warning again. And the music's dying out. And something's over there on the seesaw. Is it a giant spider demon? I think I called it best with the giant spider demon thing. Oh! That's a gross monstrosity. It's got a bag full of eyeballs inside. Listen here, you seesaw wielding jerk. I'm coming in. Looks like he's got, like, spikes on the inside there. I don't know if that's gonna destroy us or what. Ah! Okay, so this is a challenge. We gotta go up and down him. Hit them on the bottom, he moves his eyes to the top. He doesn't seem to have any attacks yet. But he might. Oh, he can grab us, though. That'll make things a little bit more challenging, alright. Let's see if we can't move our mass up these legs. Oh, he does destroy us when he touches us with the tips. Get back here. Come on! We got launched into the air, which is I think what we have to do. There's three eyes gone, that's good. I wonder how many of the mass pieces we've missed so far. Oh no, I don't want to get down to nothing, because if he pokes us, then we're done. I wonder if we can climb up his legs. Doesn't seem like it. Gotta be a little bit more careful here. This boss is a little bit less aggressive than the other one, but a little bit more unusual in its design. It's clearly getting mad, though. It's turning red inside. It only seems to have three left. We may have actually missed some of the, uh, the biological matter again. I feel like we're doing a pretty good job of getting most of it, but not all of it. I wonder if anything happens if you get it all. There we go, perfect lob. And boss 2 is defeated. However, we did miss 5 biological matter this time. I wonder if that matters. Come on, no, we gotta be on the other side of the eyeball. The eyeball's gonna make the bridge for us here. Let's get across here. There we go. Go make the bridge. Can I get up here? Probably, that's not a good idea. Let's just let the eye roll into the spot there and we can move on. Look at all the little eyes on it too. Such a gross thing. Alright, time to try and cross here without falling into the pit. No, 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 no. There we go.
go. You can't touch the purple goop. The purple goop is out to get you. There we go. And we're off. Chapter 2 completed. 45 out of 50. And we beat Chapter 2 with no deaths. That's always good. That's always good. I wonder what the different achievements are in this game. Either way, let's start the next area. Alright. Evil corn on the cob. Deserted fairground. I see. The Freak. The Freak, you say. Okay. There we go. How are we gonna get over and get that guy? Not that way. Oh, interesting. You do float in water. That's nice to know. We found something that doesn't immediately destroy us. We're fairly buoyant, so we can pop back from that kind of problem, too. I wonder how we're supposed to get this guy, though. Like, were we supposed to, like, fall in so fast that it launched us back out? Or what were we doing here? Because I can't get underwater deep enough to really get launched super high. It doesn't seem that I can. It might be possible if I really push. But it seems to try and become buoyant again pretty quick. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the mechanic they're looking for here is. I think I might know how to do it, though. Let's try this. Try and make a big pillar. No, this isn't going to work. Alright, well, we've already missed some of them. I don't mind missing one on purpose, because I'm not really sure what they're looking to teach us here about getting into the water or using the water to climb higher, because I don't, I don't see how this would work for us. A little bit more effort here just before we give up, but I... I don't know, man. You don't seem to launch out of the water fast enough. Maybe you're supposed to go, like, that or something? we got to try and figure this out, because I have a feeling this mechanic is important. So you can launch a little bit by doing that. I don't know if it'll launch you enough, though. The water also makes it hard to control your growth. There you go. Okay, so you do use the water to launch yourself. That's good to know. We've learned something. Took a bit longer than I would have liked, but we learned something. The intention is you hook yourself to the bottom rather than trying to st like push yourself to the bottom. And then from there, it makes it easier for you to drop down. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's fine, though. It's fine. We'll get there eventually. Gotta make sure we're growing in the right places. Like, not down there. That's a pretty uh, important side of growing in the right place. The water definitely seems to make the mushroom grow really quickly, though. So if we fall in there, it will throw us off. If we didn't intend to. There we go. Made it over the hill. <laughs> Challenges of our time. Oh, that looks like a horrible thing. I'm gonna be put into some kind of like uh, farm machinery and launched. All right, let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, like grinds us up and launches us over the hill. That's horrible. <laughs> Effective though, so I can't complain too much. And I don't know if we can even feel pain. We'll find out when we touch these jellyfish. Nope, we can't feel pain. We just absorb the jellyfish. Giant vat of pesticides there. The pesticides probably went horribly wrong. That thing in the top there looks like oil of some kind. Maybe vegetable oil, since we're at a farm. 
They're definitely painting a picture of a lot of stuff going on in this world. We just don't know enough of it yet to know what's going on. And it looks like the idea here is this is more of like an industrial area. Get a little bit more machinery happening here. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to grapple our way onto this thing, I'm sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can't hold on. There we go. And we got him. Perfect. Gotta catch ourselves some bugs. I wonder... Yeah, I wonder how long the game is, and I wonder what the other kind of environments we're going to do is. That looks like a bad thing. Here goes nothing. Oh, nothing happened. Ah, oh, there it comes. It's just a hay bale being launched down to murder us. Unfortunately, because I stopped it from hitting the end, I don't think it's going to actually push through here, so we're going to have to go back and do it again. Yeah, because we can't get through this now. Alright, back across we go. We have to get out of the way is the trick. Nope, that's not going to work. That's us dead. <laughs> or just make a bridge. That's what we have to do. We have to make a bridge for it so that it can get across the lava without falling down. Okay, I get it. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Not the most effective, but it looks like it did the job, so we'll take it. Woo! Here comes another one. I don't know if we want more of these to get across, but whatever. Oh, our little piece of us is pushing the button now. Stop that. Gotta get across here ourselves. Go, 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 go. Alright, we made it. <laughs> Fighting with fire here. We have to ride this rock across. I bet you it's a rolling boulder we have to ride. It is. No, 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 no. Okay, this is... This is surprisingly tricky. Or I guess unsurprisingly tricky is more appropriate. We just gotta let it keep rolling, man. Just let it keep rolling. Keep the mass towards the front. But don't lose the grip on the back. No, no, don't roll backwards. No, 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 and we're dead. <laughs> Alright, we'll try and cross this thing again. So let's go. I wonder what the best tactic here is. Because you have to destroy it from the front, otherwise you'll get dropped in the lava. But you have to keep most of the weight in the front, otherwise it's going to stop rolling. It'll start rolling backwards, and if it falls completely, then you're in trouble, because if you're not careful, you don't get the grapple back, and then you fall in the lava and you're dead. So that's not a good situation either. Like, this is probably not good, but we recovered, so it's okay. It's okay. We might actually make it across this time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Danger, danger, danger. Going the wrong way. Okay. Okay, we made it across. Whew! Another mechanical device. What's going on here? What was this thing all about? Why is it dumping itself into the lava? I wonder if I can just stick it so it won't continue. Looks like you can. Careful now. Carefully does it. There we go. Drop him into lava. It's fine. We didn't like that guy anyway. And go, 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 go. Okay. Whew. Uh oh. This way, this way. Very nice. 
Some weird stuff going on here. Oh, what? <laughs> what is this all about? Alright, I think I get it. I think I get it. I like these puzzles. They're fun. They're straightforward, but they're cool. You have to drop this down the slide. So we can fall down the gap underneath. Look at that. Clever. <clears throat> and now we're in the middle of the pool of horrible lava. And there's a grinder on the side we have to push ourselves into at the right time. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think we're going to end this episode here for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing a little bit of Mushroom 11 for you. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. And if you have other unusual games for me to check out, leave me a suggestion in the comments, too. I won't promise to check them all out, but you never know what I'll see. As far as other series go, if you're wondering where everything else is, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of actually recording right now, so we'll get back into other series that we left off previously in a bit. But I want to just get back in the swing of actually doing it, without having the stress of having it already being an established series. Either way, thank you very much for dropping by, and look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye